I wanted to share with you something that's very unique about the Amna Dianz culture. And before I go into reasons why Amna Dianz might be a great fit for you, I actually want to start with a few reasons on why it may not be the right fit for you. And I think it's important. I think there's enough out there for everyone and uh, finding the right place for you is important. It's valuable. So I have my list here, so because I'm not as good at remembering things anymore, but um, I'm gonna write a blog about this. I just wanted to make a quick video for you first. So if you value perfection over progress, Omna Dance is probably not a great fit for you. Uh, we really value seeing each child for where they are at and appreciating their progress from the day before or the week before we saw them. So as a collective, it may not look perfect, especially for our level one and level two classes. And we do that intentionally. We are very aware of each student's progress and also each student's joy of the experience. So uh, a really quick example, I remember I had a student who was in my team's L2 class and she was struggling. She was could not keep up with the class. And technically she was ready for Teens L2 because she'd been in the L1 class long enough and she knew all of the techniques. And I could feel my ego being challenged, thinking, oh my gosh, how is she gonna perform in on stage and not embarrass me as a teacher? The ego is a real thing, let's talk about it, right? But I knew about this value of mine. I'm like, all right, I'm really gonna just see her. I'm gonna see how she progresses. And, and I started having one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations with her after class. I would ask her to come with me afterwards and I gave her stepping stones. Hey, can you work on that one turn? Um, this is how you do it. She needed some more one-on-one -on -one attention. And it was really quick, right? And she started feeling this accountability. And every week, even though the dance was still a hot mess sometimes, but, I saw that she got that turn or um, she got that leap or she got that step. And lo and behold, we're at the performance. It's not perfect, but it is so much better. And each dancer, you know, some dancer is killing it in her technique and her um, choreography, but her expressions, let's work on that. So that growth is, an, is unique. And um, she made me very emotional um, because it, a few years later, she was just telling me how much she appreciated me as a dance teacher. And I wondered if me making that decision was a reason why I connected so deeply with her. So that wasn't as short as I expected, but that's an example. <laughs> Another one is um, Omni Dance is not for you if you uh, value fear-based teaching. So this is about intrinsic motivation versus extrinsic mot motivation. We do not want our students to be afraid of us. We want them to do it wonderfully because they want to. And there are specific techniques that go into it that we teach at our, um, in our trainings. And you could read about it. It's called extr extrinsic motivation versus intrinsic motivation. Praise, trophies versus um, accountability, pride, um, feeling seen, you know, all of that. Uh, we're also not a competitive dance team. That's intentional too. Uh, we're, I'm gonna blog about that as well. So uh, it's, it would be too much to talk about this in this video. Now, here are a few reasons why Amna Dance is the perfect fit for you. Although nothing is perfect, but it might be the perfect fit for you. Um, if you prioritize emotional intelligence, mental health, personal development, we are the right fit. We start all of our classes with a quick meditation in which we set our intentions, how we wanna feel, what we wanna dance like. Uh, we always end with a circle in which we have a mindful activity. Last year, we focused on self-love. Um, the year prior, we fo focused on emotions. And this year, um, I'll be announcing what we'll be focusing on in, a, in the next video. And um, so yeah, if you value that, we're, we're the right fit for you. Um, if you encourage creativity and leadership, we're the right fit for you. We have a student TA program where we have student teacher assistants assisting our instructors in class from the age of seven. Um, and of course, teens. And now we actually have some of them who are going to start teaching their own classes. We also uh, have our level three classes choreograph their own pieces. 
So we open that up and we encourage them to create their own choreographies, which they teach to the students, which they perform at the recital. And this is one of my favorite aspects of our program because it really surprises you with what these, these kids can create. And it empowers them, it shows them that they have everything they need to create and be themselves and and then teaching it to their peers that feels very empowering and powerful for them um and if you value the intermixing of uh dance styles and dance john music genres so we don't just teach bollywood we teach bollywood hip-hop jazz and latin these are the four styles of dance that i'm trained in and this is what i imagine when i choreograph so all of our instructors, all of our students teach and learn all four styles. So at the end of the recital, they, our students perform uh, a medley of different song types, different song styles, and that's what they learn.